Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies over those lovely shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really, anything that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, content from the blood god. Mm. <coughs> Mm. Oh. Oh. The show. Tonight, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last Roundup Rolling Grid. It's a fan film, um, and um, from the creators to us, <coughs> <coughs> they wish us to enjoy. So, put one more. <coughs> So you can sort of uh, read that. Um, this is for the fans. So this is one of those that I probably uh, won't. Um, like I, if I do get the affiliate type stuff, um, I won't monetize um, just for the fans. So um, yeah, um, let's rumble. The film which you are about to see is a familiar account of tragedy and youth. The overlooked story of an innocent road trip which took an unexpected turn for the mad and the macabre. These events began. Ha! Huh. You see, again? They use macabre. Sorry. Came another horrifying chapter in one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes! Let's go.
just closed captions on this one. That's better. The, the, the movie. Where does it go? The good Lord only knows. Seems like it was just the other. Are you sure you know where we're going? Yes, I know where we're going. Kind of looks like we're lost. We're not lost. Exactly where the map says to go. Not even looking at the map. I can't look at the map all the time. I gotta drive unless you wanna die. See, I told you I knew where we were going. Whose wedding is it that we're going to? Cousin Williams. Is that the one who has a lazy eye? No, that's Chris. William is the one that lost his fingers. Oh, okay. I think there's someone on the side of the road over there. We'll pull over. They might need help. Or well, maybe I'd turn my microphone up a little bit. Actually, yeah, that would be terrific. All right, hop on in. We'll give you a ride. Groovy. So, is that so the... where are you uh, headed? Oh, Austin, Texas. Austin? You got a long ways to go, miss. Yeah, it is. <laughs> where are you coming from? Um, I'm from Childress, Texas, so I'm heading from there. And you were going to walk all the way to Austin? Yeah, I mean, I've got this road map. Uh, I didn't have a ride to get there, so I decided I was just going to hitchhike. What's in Austin? I've got a sister down there. Um, we have a little bit of a falling out, but she was, said if I could get down there, I'd have a place to stay. More well, I'm glad okay we, uh, to hitchhike, but still Yes. By the way, thank you so much for giving me no, a ride. No, no, no. This is fine. I, I mean, if I can hear, it's, I'm just making sure you can hear Smile. me. Smile. Because... Um, no, I'm sorry. I, don't have, I just like, like to take pictures really of the places to, I go. Like, well, that's neat. Thank so, you. Like, I'm, like, I'm Caroline, by the way. Well, I'm Terry. This is my boyfriend, Greg. It's nice to meet both of y'all. Okay. It's nice to meet you. We're on our way to You're Kingsville. Here, so His cousin's getting married, and we're driving we're from here. Oklahoma. Thank you for the food. It's no problem. Here. It's not much. That's okay. It's our treat. You have a little bit of ketchup in your hair. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> You're really pretty. Thank you. Man, I'm so hungry. I can eat a horse. All right. <laughs> so I was thinking. Since we're a day ahead of schedule anyway, why don't we go ahead and take Caroline all the way to Austin to her sister? That's way too much. Y'all don't have to do that. Oh, it's fine. Wedding is up for two more days anyway. Are you all sure? It's such a long way. Shoot, yeah. I ain't been to Austin in a long time. It'll be real fun. Uh, thank y'all so much. You really made my day. I just got to catch for this moment. Smile. Laughing. He's just laughing. Who's laughing? The old man. The old man's laughing. The old man's laughing at you. <laughs> you know what's weird? That guy looked like somebody I know. I'm gonna have to ask him if he was gonna come in for Next motel we find, we're gonna stop. I'm getting pretty tired. Sorry. Are you okay sharing a room? Sure, that's fine with me. Okay. That's never good. So is this okay? So I, um, they they said that is like you know we know the story. So is this the uh, uh, or is this is this somebody that got away? Get in the car. Oh, shit. The door 
have started quick, huh? Check and see if he's breathing. Just barely. Not really. Looks like there might be a fetal up ahead. We'll go there and see if there's any help. You better hurry. So I see uh, that you're still with us, JPTV. It's very nice to, uh, to have you with us. Um, it's nice to be able to see everybody. I got, I'm glad I upgraded my screen um, capabilities. Uh-oh. That, uh-oh. Go back out the other way, sir. Yes. Yes. That is the, prop that is the proper uh, is reaction okay? to have. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. No, why would you go back in? Man, my ass would have been making it for the next motherfucking counter. Looks like you're just in time for the party, cowboy. Look at that, Bubba! Like a stuck pig! Oh, shit. Hold on. Is he... He's gone. Well, that one dude just fucking stuck somebody, didn't he? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. See what happens when I'm tending to... Hello? Ah. Hello? Oh! 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 You got a full on the full run, brother. Like, uh, like you got, you got to sprint at it right like here. Hit the jackpot tonight, Bubba. Make a drink and get off our tails for once. Coon shit this, and coon shit that. <clears throat> We're the ones doing all the work. That uh, you know that uh, leather has, leather face has so many fucking issues. Right. You've got associated with so, uh, I did a disorder. Um, I think, I mean, he, he, things are bad in this family. It's it's uh, like you can see where um, uh, Rob Zombie got his uh, inspiration for House of a Thousand Corpses too in that uh, that original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre.
And it's the gruesome insanity that really gets you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no rhyme or reason for it. It's just, it just is. Is this your bag? <laughs> Holy hell, that's a, wow. When in this timeline is because uh, he looks younger than like uh, than uh, in the original film, or maybe you take maybe pictures? just a little bit older. Maybe. I have some pictures. Actually, he looks a little bit older than the original one. Now that I think about it, this is Grandma and Grandpa. That's my twin. He's in the war right now. This is Kate. She's a pretty girl. Like you. She stayed for dinner once. She had run off. Now she's all You know, Bubba like you. He got you all prettied up for dinner. We'll eat after we process all that beef for drink. <laughs> well, better get to work. There's a lot of hungry mouths to feed. Please! Please! No! <laughs> <laughs> I need <I need>, help. <laughs> yeah, you better run, bitch. Like, there ain't nothing but you. You have got to do this yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I I do like how they capture the um the visceral feeling of the original film. Like it, it and and also the grain is awesome. I've used the grain filter before. Um, It's a similar story, like I think that's what they're going for, because this is a typical day for the family. Uh, this is what they did, they, they hunted uh, uh, travelers on the road. Uh, a lot of times uh, uh, the cop would arrest uh, 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 people going down the road, like whether they were uh, like, uh, out of gas or they did something wrong. They would pick it up and take it back to the house. But sometimes, sometimes the brother would get them uh, and, uh, uh, and they would, uh, lure them back to the house, you know, like, needing, uh, needing help or whatever, um, or just needing a ride. Um, uh, it's also faithful to the original that the girl, like, um, uh, breaks free and, uh, and possibly gets away. We don't know yet, but, um... Like, it, 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 it all comes down to the mindset of, uh, of Leatherface here, because, um, he's a dude, uh, but he's also, oh, oh, damn, nice girl, nice, um, he's, uh, susceptible to the charms of the ladies, uh, and also, oh, shit, oh, shit. we want you for dinner, I'm sure you know. Maybe the 
your dad's dead by now. Can you, can you? Oh, oh she manned it up. Oh, she did it. Holy hell. I do I do him up, lady. I, I would I absolutely no, don't give him the free hit. Don't turn your back fucking like a let it run him through. Uh -oh. Yeah. Should have run him through when, when you had a chance. Let's say that. Oh. Oh. Lady gets through. Okay, so there's the other personality of, uh, of Leatherface. Um, yeah. Um, she, uh, like, sometimes, like, takes the, uh, the mother figure, uh, especially when serving dinner. Texas Chainsaw Massacre tale right there. That is a day in the life right there. That was fucking cool. Um, and it didn't stay too long, which I appreciate. Um, sometimes for some fun to waffle near the end. Um, Nubbins, Steven Sarnowski, Leatherface, Cameron Cockrell. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, last round up, Rolling Grill. Uh, that was really good. I'm going to go ahead and sub to them. Uh, and um, make sure I get all of their stuff. Um, and um, there are, see, <clears throat> um, okay, let me finish up first. Uh, that was uh, also by Justin Sands. Um, 
and that was beautiful. I loved it. Um, felt very much, uh, uh, yeah, I sucked right into the, uh, the ambiance of the film. So, um, well done, guys. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. That's 